Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're talking about cleaning saddles. So a couple things you're gonna need for this is some kind of saddle soap or cleaner um, and a toothbrush is super helpful. I'm gonna take off these straps, okay? This is just gonna allow me to clean it a little bit easier. I'm gonna take off these stirrup straps here and then I can undo the stirrup leathers there. Now that gets the stirrup off, I can clean this separately. It's gonna be much faster. I'm gonna go ahead and put my saddle in the sun for a few minutes so that it can heat up because when the leather's hot, it actually absorbs the oils better. All right, so after a few minutes in the sun, the leather's nice and warm. Um, it's time to start cleaning. So I like to actually go over the whole saddle with a brush um, it just gets rid of some of the dust that sometimes builds up. Sometimes it's in a barn for a little bit, gets a little bit of cobwebs on it or whatever. Um, I like to just kind of brush that all off before I start to do anything else. So for the smooth parts, you want to just use your fingers and uh, go in circular motions right here with the cloth. So here we go. I'm just going to kind of put this on here. You can already immediately see it gets a little bit darker. It gets a little bit smoother. Some of this mud's coming off here, okay? So it's very important to get rid of all the cracks. So for parts like this where there's a lot of details, um, that's when this toothbrush comes in really handy and you can just go in circular motions with it. So all these little details that are really hard to access with this toothbrush, they're really easy. Then you can go ahead and get your cloth and just wipe the excess off, okay? Areas of the saddle that get a lot of wear, like right here where the straps go, um, that's a very important part. You can see here these little worn off edges. It's very important to make sure those are nice and oiled up. So we just take some oil and cover those up. It's already starting to crack a little bit, so it means I'm probably not oiling this enough. But there we go, we can fill that in. So then this part of the, the flap that interacts a lot with the horse's sweat, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little layer of oil to that, okay, to keep it from cracking. Now it's important that you don't do the suede. If your saddle has suede like this, you're not gonna wanna clean that. You can brush it off as much as you want to, but you'll see here this suede, you should not clean this. This should just stay how it is, which unfortunately in my saddle, it's a little messed up, but it's an old one. So we got these little straps. These are easy to do. Just a little bit of water, a little bit of oil. It doesn't take long to get these done. Look how easy it is with a little toothbrush to get in here and clean this all. It takes two seconds and you can literally clean all of these little hard to reach areas, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and wet this nice and soaking. So once it's nice and wet, we're just gonna go ahead and put some soap on it. Um, this is just dish soap, literally. I find that this works pretty well um, to get it all cleaned and then you're gonna wanna just get a little brush and start just going in circles. So guys, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the sun and that's how I clean my cinches. Okay guys, so now it's time to reassemble the saddle. You can see here the leather's looking good. It's all nice and oiled, so we're gonna go ahead and put the elements back together and that's a very important part of it. I hope you guys can see the different steps and the elements of cleaning a saddle. It's a very important thing that you should do to keep your saddles in good condition, looking good. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time.